Hey, what's going on, guys? Brules Hard Drive here, fine tuned cvshop.com. Hey, let's see. Any noise outside? And, uh, natives are still snoozing. <laughs> hey, uh, this year I got a 955 here. Steve. And a Texas driver. I just looked at the box. Yes, I'm behind. And this one's still going to be, I'll, I'll get it done today. And the next shipping day is going to be like Friday. Anyways, I want you all to pay attention. Some of you uh, text too. I'm going to like this. But Steve was complaining about the radio, making a stereo talk, you know, lighting things up in his truck. Not all the time, but just sometimes. You can never figure out why. And I guess the radio has more miles through UPS, FedEx, and the post office than it does in his truck. It's not been, it hasn't been hacked on, butchered on. So the place you stop, you send it to, Steve, they didn't hack it up. The AMC was open a little bit more than it should be. That can cause some, some stuff. Now I didn't do anything to the receive. All I've done is I'm about to do the receive. So here's here's the biggest key right here. Those two coils. Those inductors are quite important for sideband AM. Anyways, one of the coils is put back where it belongs, and what I've done is a preliminary and a tune and then I figured, you know, after I found the problem, well not the exact problem, I'll define that, and that's going to be a diode, possibly a leaky cap or a cap that's out of tolerance, but I'll lay bucks on its one of the four 520s, it's unity gain, but it could be a diode or a cap for biasing. All right, uh, let's get started here. Here he is. She's ready to rock. Almost. It's got a, it's a little bit wider than it should be. It's not perfect from upper to lower. It's the two side bands. And let me show you why. Okay, I guess someone was, they were having a hard time finding this. That's full power. And fully modulated now. Let me turn the power down. Just watch. Watch everything at the same time. Turn the power down. Not bad, there's a little bit of noise in there. That would light up another radio on another channel close by. Not in a distance. Okay, now let's go to 30 megahertz. Okay. Hey, what's that? 0.3 here. That right there. I'm find something smaller than that. How about a pen? Okay. Now let me turn the power up. You'll see the power change. Turn this down a little bit. On uh, the scope as I slowly increase power. But watch that spur. Right now it's just one. Yes, I'm slowly turning the power up. Yes, no. I didn't notice this up until after the tune because I thoroughly checked them out. But that was that's your SWR problem right there. Wondering why it's changing all the time. You try to set it low power, high power. That would drive a man completely insane is what that would do. Now it's modulated. That's very low power. Turn that down. Now I'll turn the power up slowly. You see it changing and then going it's somewhere around 20 megahertz is where that is. And it kind of goes away. Uh, full power. Okay, yeah, so that's more than likely that's going to be. And it's not going to be one, it's going to be regulator, it's going to be everything. That's just the way I do it, period. 
I hope some of this was informative for some of you guys. And uh, this is more than likely the Unity or Gain HP or one of the transistors. I am assuming without testing anything. And normally I don't I pull and throw away, replace with brand new. There's no time for testing MOSFETs. You know, 2879s are different. Four, 477s are a little bit different. But I hope some of this is informative. Because that would make you go nuts. You know, when you're either trying to check reflection, the incident wave, as that's changing all the time, whether it's modulated or not modulated, you would have one hell of a time adjusting your antenna system. I hope some of this was informative. Everybody have an awesome day. And if you're out there in those highways and byways, safety first. Hard drive 163 Rio Grande. We're clear. Press the damn button.